I live about five miles from golf club, and I have been very eager to improve my game. And I used to come up here nearly every day. Very enjoyable, and it's sociable. I enjoy life. It wasn't always that rosy. When I was having my dental problems, I had some dark years. It started off with a, a burning sensation in the gums. I would be tender and bleed on brushing your teeth. Also, most embarrassing thing was the bad breath. That used to terrify me. I was so afraid of opening and exposing my ugly sight. I couldn't chew properly any hard stuff. How I used to envy people biting into the apples, <laughs> which I couldn't do. It was something I couldn't talk about because the problem was caused by my poor oral hygiene, so I felt shame. I wasn't speaking up as much as I would have done with a cancer condition. People can talk about it, whereas with a dental condition, I thought that perhaps I will find a way of treating it without making too much fuss. When I made a visit to the dentist, it never really cured anything. But when it went on for years, then I was very frightened. I started losing teeth, and I knew now this is serious. I've got a fairly hectic schedule because we've got several businesses uh, that we run as a family. I run a couple of coffee shops, a bakery, a couple of sandwich shops which we've just opened up as well. You've got to be there for each different business. I've lived in different places like Africa, which was exciting. Had a great time living in a different country, different culture, but I don't ever remember in that 10 years going to a dentist. I decided to come back from Africa, and I did start going more regular. I remember having fillings. Uh, there was nothing discussed about uh, gums. Even when I brushed my teeth and, and, and I spat and there was some blood inside it, it didn't register any alarm bells because I actually probably thought I was just brushing a little bit too hard. I've been with this dentist since I can remember, and he sold his practice to some other people. So I was still brushing, still bleeding, but not thinking anything of it. And I went in this new practice, sat me in the chair, and I said, oh, we think you need to have some treatment on your gums. Even when I got told I had a gum disease, I didn't think it was like anything serious. I was a bit shocked, but not horrified, because I didn't realize, you know, if your gums get bad, then your teeth will actually start dropping out. I'm 65 years old. Um, I retired three years ago. We found this place. We've spent a bit of time getting the garden right. It's perfect. Like many people of, of my age, I had a fear of, of dentists. I used to get myself into a terrible state and would often cheat on appointments and not turn up. So, of course, when I went away from the, the parental home, I did even less other than brushing my teeth occasionally. No one explained in terms that I could actually process what the consequences were. I actually realised I had a, a sensitivity to my gums in my late 20s, early 30s. I got gingivitis. It then started a series of surgical interventions on all sides of my mouth, and that lasted over a year. And I can remember the words of the surgeon, if you now don't take your gums seriously, you will lose your teeth. You know, the penny does begin to drop the actual fact I had to take myself seriously, which is what I did. My wife, Pam, has been through a similar set of experiences recently, so we share that common bond. I suppose I first became aware about two years ago that it was a gum disease rather than anything else. I'm very pleased that it's been spotted because obviously before that point you don't know why it's uncomfortable and you want it to go away and of course that always takes time and you can be fine for a while uh, but the inevitability is that it will, it will come back. I was absolutely gobsmacked when I was told that I did have a serious gum disease problem again with this implant. I'd done exactly what everybody had told me to do for years and years and years, and therefore to find after all of this effort, the body still wasn't sort of behaving as I thought it would do, I was surprised. 
I could feel it. I mean, I just knew that things weren't right, and my dentist had concerns. It resulted in another set of very, very deep cleans where the, the soft tissue was removed, stitches were done, and hopefully now, touch wood, things will be fine. The explanations that I've been given at every stage, and that's been very clear. It's that sort of honesty that I really take on board. You've just got to be aware that gum disease won't go away. All you can do is to minimise its impact and delay its progression. Our dentist referred me to a dental hospital, and that was the beginning of uh, my new life. She actually made me bring my own toothbrush, and she told me where I was going wrong. My gums were in such a poor state and weak, as tender. When she pushed that interdental brush, it really hurt me. But that was the best thing she did to me. Since using them, I noticed the improvement. They booked me onto a program. I had to go every month, and there was an in-depth clean that they were doing each time I was going. I just probably didn't appreciate the value of the treatment. It actually took away from the fear of dentistry because it was a nice environment. Uh, the staff were really pleasant. I've been taught how to brush my teeth properly uh, several times by the dental nurses now. That was very hard in the beginning because in the morning, I've got to get up, I've got to get out. I've always got telephone calls straight away. And to stand for five or 10 minutes cleaning teeth, I wasn't making the time to do it. I would say it's only been in the last three months that I've worked out the system for me that I do in the morning and on the night time. I think it's self-realization that you are responsible. Dentists can help treat the condition, but it's not permanent to cure as such. The condition will keep coming back if you don't maintain your daily routine. If I did that two nights in a row, I start feeling the burning sensation coming back. That really frightens me. Yes, about a year ago, I had a swollen gum again. I said, oh my God, no, no, this is not happening. I never want to go back to where I was a few years ago. So however tired I am, I will do the whole procedure and it does make a difference. The remedy is there. I now regard my dental hygiene as one of my key daily activities. It's as important to me as my gym in the morning. I use different sized dental brushes. And the other thing is I use a sonic toothbrush. You spend 30 seconds on each part of your mouth. And again, I follow that religiously. And I know that if I don't do it, then it will bite me back. And I don't know where that will lead. If I hadn't done this, wouldn't my gums have just rotted and would some of my teeth have just dropped out? Very possibly. If they had actually said, John, your gums are in a shocking state. You've got to do this. You're at a risk of losing so many teeth. I would have cleaned and done exactly what they said from the very beginning. The main difference is I do focus more on oral hygiene than I ever have in the past. A lot more in-depth cleaning, a lot more awareness. The improvement is that now, when I brush my teeth and uh, rinse my mouth, there's no traces of blood. And so I presume if I continue doing as I'm doing now, then hopefully that should continue in the future. Now I'm not at all apprehensive about a visit to the dentist. I mean, things have moved on so much. It's now a team effort. I feel I'm part of a, a process. My mouth feels much better. I mean, I can feel that the pockets have closed. I guess it's probably in, in the best state that it's been in, uh, in many years. It just gives you a sense of confidence and well-being that in actual fact, all of this grisly stuff is actually worth it. And there is a beneficial end result, but I'm not complacent. It's like lots of things. You've just got to keep on maintaining it and making sure that it works properly. Well, you can empathise now with each other, yes. And also, of course, you talk about it with your friends as well. And it's actually much more widespread than you realise, which in a way is quite reassuring, but also uh, suggests that there, there is something that needs to be done. It is uh, very important to take action early 
seek the right advice. Don't leave it just because it doesn't cause you much pain. It is simple enough. Now I know when my gums got cleaned up, I felt so happy I went on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I became suddenly more confident and I made lots of friends. I keep lots of apples and I can just bite into them with pleasure. I appreciate life more. <laughs> yeah.